In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to discuss about how to run Playwright test on different browsers using the commands. So let's navigate to the VS Code now. So if you look at the tests folder, we have to spec file and I will navigate to the testing. So under the tests folder, we have to spec file. Under the demo spec file, we have one test. Under the example spec file, we have two test cases. So right now we are having total three automation tests. So I will go back to the Explorer and I will open the terminal. You can use the terminal or you can use the command prompt also. So now let's try to execute the all these three automation tests on the Chromium. You can try to execute on the different browsers. It can be Microsoft Edge browser or it can be Google Chrome browser also. And also you can try to execute on the Firefox WebKit browsers also. So, so right now I'm executing our automation test on the Chromium. So here I'm writing one command called npx playwright followed by that test. And here we have to specify hyphen hyphen project project equal to Chromium. That's it guys. So if I add Chromium, then it will run our automation test on the Chromium browser. And if I add WebKit, it will execute our automation test on the WebKit browsers. So firstly, it has opened. So because already parallel mode is on, so that's the reason it will trigger the multiple test cases at the same time. And if you see the here output, so we had three automation tests and all are getting passed, right? So we have executed our test on the Chromium browser right now. And in, in the similar way, even we can open the report. So let's open the report and we will validate the browser name also on the report. Then we will come back and we will execute our automation test on the WebKit browser also. If you see here, so total automation test is three and all are getting passed. And here you can see the two spec file. Under demo spec file, we have one test and that is getting passed. Under example spec file, we have two tests and that those are getting passed. And here you can see the which browser also, right? Now I will come back to the VS code. So simply I will quit this reporting and I will close the playwright test report. Now this time I will trigger the our playwright test on the WebKit browser. So I will remove Chromium and here I'll type WebKit. Now this time our test will run on the WebKit browser. So you can see that. So all the tests are getting executed. So all the tests tests are working fine. And let's view the report. So by using the command called npx playwright show hyphen report. So this will open up the HTML playwright test report. So firstly, you can see the project. So our test tests are executed on the uh, sorry WebKit browser and here you can see the two spec file and three automation tests and also those are getting passed here. So this is how you can execute playwright test on the different browsers.